go right here. Okay. <laughs> Sit down, <bro>. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Can you leave this on the table? <laughs> All right, hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us uh, for our season opener. <coughs> After Coach Close starts with uh, an opening statement, we'll take questions from the room. I'm really thankful for um, you know this opportunity with Purdue. Uh, I've been watching a lot of film and the speed in which Coach Geralds has turned around that program and the culture of her program. I just want to give them a lot of credit. And you know, Pam Walker on my staff was calling this the Back to the Future game. You know, uh, remembering our past with the connection of Coach Wooden and Purdue, and then obviously what's ahead in the future with the Big Ten. And uh, so, just really want to say thank you to them and also just that we really respect the direction in which their program is going. Uh, I think the two words that I've been, or phrases that I've been telling our team all year long is selflessness and work ethic. And I think our ability to use our depth to just keep the pressure on and wear them down was critical. And then 29 assists on 35 field goals speaks to the selflessness. And even in the midst of that, I think we still have a ways to go in some of our consistency, how we execute out of timeout, some little things like that. But as a coach, um, when, you get, when you have those things, we had 97 passion plays. And those of you who have covered us for a while, what we say our baseline 75. Um, and those are the intangible things that don't show up in the stat sheet. Speaks to selflessness. And so as much as I am really, really proud of our team, uh, I can't wait to see the, what they do in the next growth areas of physicality, taking care of the ball, some of those kinds of things. But uh, really proud of the work ethic and the selflessness and excited to watch them be hungry to continue to grow and improve. This one was a lot more fun, Gavin. Yeah, um, I mean, I was just really excited going into today. Um, <clears throat> you know, here we there go. You go. A little better. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, I was just really excited going into today. Um, you know, a little bit of nerves, but honestly, with the confidence of like my coaches and my teammates that they have in me, um, it just makes me go out and do amazing things. And I just want to give a shout out to my teammates and my coaches for just having so much belief in me, because it honestly just gives me so much confidence. And um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun today. This is such a great first game for me, and I'm just a really great experience. So I'm just really grateful to be here. Yeah. And for London, career high six threes for you. Um, kind of what for a lot of so confident, take so many shots, and obviously make so many in your first game of the year. Yeah, I think my team and coaches do a really good job with instilling, just making sure, like, when I'm open, you take that shot, like, you don't miss it. And it's selfish on my part if I don't take it. Um, I think so. But it's work. You know, we, I practice this a lot with Coach T and Co Kiki. You know, we all do it after practice. And so these are just the extra reps that we get in. And so when it's in the game, it literally feels exactly the same. So I think that that's was really good. But repetition is definitely it for me. And then for Coach, you told me last week that turnovers was kind of one of your biggest concerns. I'd like to get us to the 12 or under, you know, we're an up-tempo team, um, but the reality is if, if they continue to get 29 assists, I'll live with that, right? Um, you know, that's two to one as a team almost, you know, not quite. I was a sociology major, don't hold that against me. But, um, but the reality is we do need to continue to bring it down. It's, it's more the careless ones, the ones that were just unnecessary that I want to get rid of. I don't want to take back the aggressiveness of our team, but I'd like us to be in about the 11 range, night in and night out. <clears throat> Yeah, we are extremely powerful this year. Um, we, like I said, we work extremely hard, and we also know what each other's um, uh, what each other does very well. So it's a lot easier, you know, like like you said, Riss didn't get going in the first half, but we had to make sure she got going in the second. And just as a team, making sure that everyone gets involved. And it doesn't really matter who scores or who gets the credit, but as long as we're working together and playing hard. Oh, anyone else? S sit. <clears throat> Yeah, 
I think going on for my third time playing with the USA team, I just think the experience of representing your country is something that not everyone gets to do. Um, it's a huge thing and it's an incredible thing and just experiencing other countries and being in that atmosphere, a dream come true. But the growth is always there. You know, you play with older people every year and you're playing against older people. So I think that that's what, when it comes into the, dif the difference. But I think just growing in all, you know, that's what that's that's the point. So I had a really good job. I had really fun playing on the USA team. An amazing experience. Thank you. How, how do you feel like you seem really good last night? How do you feel like your game fits in well with this? Yeah, I mean I just think I bring a lot of inside presence obviously. Um, I think it really helps our shooters get open tonight. I think obviously like DZ used that to her advantage. She shot the ball really great and you know if I just rim run every time and get myself in good position. I think it gets other people great opportunities to score. So um, just doing what I need to do inside, just rebounding, blocking shots, you know, getting good position. It just works out for the rest of the team. So, yeah. Coach, you have an interesting mix of receivers and new people this year. It's just every year, it's just so few years, it's quite the same. Um, we noticed you guys had a tiny lapse during this quarter. Um, what can you maybe give us your, like, three positive well, I think the negatives, I'll start there, is I, I just think we need to be more physical, especially in defensive rebounding. Uh, I think we need to guard better by ourselves. Late in the shot clock, we allowed some straight line drives. You play, I told them, look, you play 23 seconds of great defense. Don't allow a defensive rebound or a straight line drive. There's so few options the offense has at that point. So guarding by yourself, the physicality, <clears throat> and then just taking care of the ball. Uh, on a consistent basis, really valuing, being very crisp, knowing what we're looking for, playing with great purpose. We've got some room to grow there. I think um, obviously the positives are that we got the ball to the paint uh, on a really consistent basis. We dominated the offensive glass. Um, I think that um, our balance, um, our ability to shoot, we've shot every single scrimmage. We've shot 45% or better from the three-point line. That's a huge difference than our past teams, which if people are going to continue to double in the post like Purdue tried to do tonight, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good trade-off where we didn't have never had that consistency or that option in the past. And so, um, you know, and I think just our, we really do care about the team above ourselves. And we've talked a lot about playing for the name on the front of your jersey, not the name on the back of your jerseys. And I do believe this team is really committed to that. And I think that is what will pay dividends um, over the course of the year. And we're going to need it right away. We're now going to lose Angela Duglich and Emily Bessoir for the next two games. And it's got to be next woman up. They're going to play with their national teams. Emily's on the way to the airport right now. Um, and, you know, we're, we're gonna ha it's going to happen again in February. And so um, this it has to be this, I can be counted on, I'm ready, I will be a star in my role, whatever that role is that particular game. And I believe that team will live that out. I was going to ask you about uh, the decision to start back there and have three guards and also Angela making a start back there. Yeah. I think it's a combination, number one, matchups. Um, I knew they were going to play with three small guards, and I also knew we wanted to guard number 10. They're leading um, assist person rebounder with Charisma Osborne or Kiki, a bigger guard. And so that put somebody, if that was going to be a hard matchup, we've been playing Emily at the three a lot, or Gabs, and I just thought uh, London was a better matchup for 23. Um, but I've really tried to keep it very simple. Uh, what's the best matchup for that particular game? Uh, who is preparing in such a way that I think we're going to get the best start? And, you know, keeping it very simple, what makes our team better that particular game. And I told them, hold starting lineups really loosely, everybody. Um, it's just, you know, in this case, I thought London earned it, period. Um, she prepared well. She did her job. Um, but I also think it is going to change a lot because of the matchups that we have game in and game out. And then I know you're such a champion for the Pac-12 always. Yeah. Uh, what were your thoughts on Oh, I haven't even heard about it. So, well, I mean, not only that, but you had USC beat Ohio State, and, um, you know, I, I, one of their staff members is like a son to me, and I text him, and he said, you guys go beat another Big Ten team. And so um, we're, we're not in the Big Ten yet, so we're ready to take them down until that point. But, um, uh, you know, Colorado is a really good team, and I thought they could give LSU a run for their money, and credit to them, 
congratulations to JR. Um, I'm always going to be a champion for whatever conference I'm in. Um, and, you know, I do have this really mix of emotions um, that I am so grateful for all the people that uh, invested in this conference to make it arguably the best women's basketball conference in the country. And secondly, it's uh, there has been so many great coaches and so many great players that have made me better as a coach, made our program have to rise up. And so uh, it really is with great humility, and I'm cherishing the moments of, you know, this, this last Pac-12 year. Good. Lastly, real quick before you go, first of all, thank you all for being here and covering our team. You know that's imperative for us. I hope you guys will be a part of making Southern California so excited about not just us, USC too, women's basketball in general. And I also want to say thank you to our administration. Having a doubleheader on opening night is not an easy deal. And so thank you to Mitt Cronin and the men's staff. Thank you to the administration. Thank you to marketing. Thank you to the DEN that worked so hard to get the student group out. Um, um, I just I want everyone to know that that work does not go unnoticed or unappreciated, and we need us. We have a lot of things to accomplish this year, and we need everyone to come alongside us, and they did tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.